Hiya, I'm Simon Mole and I'm a poet. By the end of this short video, you will have written a poem. Today, we're looking at the idea of emotions. And we need to get warmed up before we start writing. The way that's gonna work is I'm gonna say an emotion, like happy, then I'm gonna count to three. And after three, you're gonna turn to the person next to you and make the face of that emotion. I'm gonna make my faces to you. So let's go. Happy. One, two, three. If you didn't join in that time, make sure you get involved this time around. Angry. One, two, three. Jealous. One, two, three. Hopeful. One, two, three. Cool, <laughs> you get the idea. Now, you're gonna pick one emotion. It might be one of the ones that we've just listed, or it could be something totally different, one that you feel you understand well, or one which you'd like to think about a little bit more. You're gonna get some paper and a pen, and you're gonna write the emotion that you've picked at the top of that paper. Pause the video whilst you do that, and then hit play once you're ready to get started with the poem. Okay, I'm gonna use hope for my emotion. And our first prompt is all about sight. So, what does your emotion look like? Or what would it look like if it was a thing? What shape is anger? What color is sadness? I reckon that hope is like a coal or an ember. So color wise, I'm gonna go orange, like a sunburst orange, but it's the only coal glowing in an empty fireplace. Pause the video whilst you note down a few of your ideas about your emotion and then hit play when you're ready to get on with the next prompt. Cool. What does the emotion sound like? What kind of music would it be? Which instrument would play it? I think that hope is probably a short, high-pitched sound. Or maybe it's a brass band, which you hear in the distance from the other side of town. Pause the video whilst you scribble some ideas down and then hit play once you're ready to roll on. Right, what does the emotion smell like? This could be a comparison. Jealousy smells like old socks, or it could be a word to describe the smell itself. Rich, rusty, fresh. I think that hope probably smells like fresh lime. So it's kind of a sharp citrusy smell. The kind of smell that makes me want to breathe in deeply. So if you want to add what your reaction to the smell would be, you could actually do that too. Pause the video whilst you note down your thoughts and then hit play when you're ready to move on. What does the emotion feel like? If it was an object, would it be rough or knobbly or wobbly or wobbly? Does it feel like anything else that you have touched before? I think that hope would probably be cool or smooth, a bit like the instrument, uh, a triangle. Okay, so pause the video whilst you get writing and then hit play once you're ready to move on to the next prompt. What does the emotion taste like? If it was a food or a drink, what would it be? Who might serve it? See, I reckon that hope is maybe like a cherry tomato, but like a really ripe one that's bursting in your mouth, or a small glass, like a shot glass of star juice, which is something I've just made up. So if you wanna make something up, that's fine as well. Uh, pause the video whilst you jot on your ideas down, 
and then press play when you're ready to move on to our final prompt. So, where do you imagine that this emotion is hiding right now? Or if it's easier, where do you think the emotion is most at home? What would it be like at that place? I think hope is in a clearing, like an unexpected clearing in a dark forest. Or, or maybe it's in a jam jar on the windowsill and it's fizzing. So, pause the video whilst you note your ideas down for that last prompt and then press play once you're ready to put your poem together. Cool. Now it's the fun bit. You're going to pick out your favourite answers or select phrases from your answers and then you're going to arrange those in an order that you think will sound good. If you want to add some new bits as you go, that's great. If you want to adjust your answers because you feel like you could improve them, that's great too. Remember that part of what people enjoy about poetry is the chance to make connections for themselves. So don't worry if you don't have full sentences and if you don't naturally find a beginning, a middle and an end like a story, then that's fine too. Right, uh, once you've done your poem, I would absolutely love to read it. So do whack it up in the comments underneath the video. My one for hope ended up like this. A shot glass of star juice. A brass band in the distance from the other side of town. The last glowing ember in an empty fire pit. One ripe cherry tomato bursts in your mouth. Hope is in a jam jar on the windowsill, fizzing. A dark forest, an unexpected clearing. A triangle struck once, pure and true. Cool. If you've enjoyed the video today and you'd like to try another one like it, click the link here. And if you want to subscribe, the link's this side. Thanks, guys.